take an example that I have a desire. <clears throat> To buy a car. So from where that desire comes, if I don't have a proper and the right knowledge, that knowledge triggers the mind. Oh, the car is good and this is how I have to use and that will make my life easy. So, the knowledge is first, because I know what is car, what a car does, and that creates from the knowledge, because I like it, so we create a desire. Two things, to have the resources to buy the car, because we always think that the happiness is in the material world and the resources are the wealth. And that's why we are so much attached to that wealth to fulfill the desire. But what is more important is the instruments that will come into contact with an object, for the same example, the car. What are those instruments? My body, energy, mind, intellect, ego, all should be in a good condition to drive the car. So we have the knowledge, desire, instruments, and the resources. That was an example of a car, but if I have a right knowledge or a wrong knowledge, first variable that may become the cause of suffering or cause of pain or the pleasure, so I should have a right knowledge. And then I should reflect on, is it right desire or a wrong desire? Depending not only in life, but also based on the equipments that I'm using, the body, the mind, the intellect and the ego. And so we have the right knowledge. So when you have the right knowledge and then the mind says, I have this desire, examine that before fulfilling it. Examine with reference to the equipment, the body, mind, etc. Are they capable of using it? to fulfilling that desire or not, there will be no need to have attention. So right knowledge, then we have a desire, check it. Is it right desire with reference to the equipments, with reference to my need, and also with reference to the pleasure? So once we have a right knowledge, right desire, and then we go for a right action. An action is to be done by the instruments, whether it's in the body, the mind, the intellect, and you. All these equipments are used in every fulfillment of desire. Maybe the role of these equipments are less or more, quantitatively, but they all are used. how to balance our life, daily life, 24 hours of life, so that 
we do not experience any stress and suffering. We live our life in harmony and happiness, in joy, in peace, in happiness. And at the same time, we continue our journey of self-discovery for awakening and realization. <laughs>